heavy shoe.
there, would you please give Dad a big hug and a kiss? <laughs> Before we get started, I just want to say that when Pablo walked in, you didn't applaud him. <laughs> and you didn't applaud me. <laughs> As family and friends of Julian and Lazaro, we gathered together this evening in their honor and in the presence of God to share with them in their marriage. We thank the two of you for asking all of us to share this most intimate of moments with you, your marriage. And in return, we share with you our love, our happiness, our joy, and our support, not only today as you're getting married, but throughout your married life. And tonight, the beauty of this sanctuary, this church, is truly enhanced by your being here and by your devotion to each other. And in turn, as we all come here today to celebrate your marriage with you, our lives are enriched, not only by the beauty of this place, but much more importantly, by the beauty of your two lives together. God has brought the two of you and all of the rest of us here today, and God is here with us because God is love, and where love is, God is. And God is here today in the two of you, and in the love that you have for each other, and God is here today in all of the rest of us and in the love that we have for the two of you. May we each experience God here today and may we treat each other with God's forgiving, respecting, and enhancing love. And may each one of us be an example of God's love to one another. Lazaro and Juliet, it's a turning point in life when two people recognize and affirm their love for each other and realize that their lives can no longer be lived separately from each other. Love cannot be found where it truly does not exist, nor can it be hidden for long where it does exist. And the two of you have come to this realization in your own lives. You have perceived that your love for each other has helped each of you to grow as a person. And your love for each other has helped each of you and both of you as partners to love others more. And I think this is certainly evident to everyone here who knows the two of you. And it certainly was evident to me the very first time I met with the two of you. And as this has happened, it is certainly within God's purpose that your lives are shared with each other, first of all, as friends, but also as lovers, and also as husband and wife. Never forget what the two of you have found in each other. Try to keep that alive every single day and try to help that to grow every single year. And to keep what you have found, you promise to never forget or deny the visions of good that you see in each other. You've promised that the love and the trust you feel for each other is never going to be diminished by petty misunderstandings nor obscured by the commonplace experiences of everyday living. You've been together long enough to know that faults will appear, which were once hidden in the excitement of your newly discovered relationship. And your real strengths at times may seem less significant the more you continue to get to know each other. But both of you have acknowledged this, and you've promised that throughout your married life you're going to continue to be confident of each other, devoted to each other, always communicating with each other, forgiving each other when needed, and most importantly, in love with each other. The two of you have shown in the past and you've committed yourselves in the future not to take advantage of the vulnerability that each of you has exposed to the other. And each of you is pledged to give and not just take from the other. Now today as wife and husband, you join together in your own new family. But each of you brings a family with you 
and you acknowledge and you appreciate the goodness that's come from them. And you've asked that they all be remembered today and be given your deepest thanks for their important roles in your lives. Remember and give thanks for your parents, your siblings, and all of your other family members who are here today. And we also remember and give thanks for those very special people who are with us today in loving spirit and who we know would give their deepest blessing to this marriage. Lazaro's grandparents, Juliet's grandfathers and grandmother, and dear friend Daniela, and also her tío Raul. And we with you also <laughs> give thanks for everyone else who is here today, witnessing, celebrating, and supporting your marriage. May your new relationship as husband and wife enhance the relationships you've already established, both with family and with friends. You're gonna to continue to interact with all of these people, but now from a whole new perspective. Never again will you be just yourselves in these relationships, but also as wife and husband, the core and the essence of your own new family. Your primary concern now, very simply, is each other. All of your other relationships, those in the past, those in the present, and those yet to come, are contingent upon this new relationship into which the two of you are entering today. And if your relationship continues to be built as it has in the past, on trust and love and concern and sensitivity for each other, all of your other relationships with family and friends will benefit as well. So give yourselves, both individually and together, the room and the support to grow. So let us now begin this new creation, this new relationship, this new family, by affirming publicly in front of family and friends, which you've already affirmed privately to each other. Quien presenta a Lazaro para contraer matrimonio con Juliet? Quien presenta a Juliet para contraer matrimonio con Lazaro? <laughs> oh, so <Benny>. cute. <laughs> Lots. Really. Will you ask Hi. Juliet to be your Thank wife? Thank you. Will you lower and Hi. communicate this love with the words of your actions, your thoughts, and your thoughts? Will you forgive her when you And will you allow her to grow both as your wife and as your person? And if so, answer, I will. I will. Juliet, will you have Lazaro to be your husband? And we love him and communicate this love with your words, your actions, your thoughts, and your touch. Will you forgive him when he did, and allow him to go both as your husband and as a person? And if so, answer, I will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I, Juliet, ask you last world to be my husband. In return. I offer and pledge my life to you. To the best of my ability, I shall try to be sensitive to your needs. All that I have of love and trust, forgiveness and friendship, I shall share with you. I am not perfect. <laughs> Understand and forgive my imperfection as I promise to share with you all that I am. You said that for marriage, sometimes carry, and I will be there for you evermore as I promise as I marry you. My last row asked you to be to be my wife. My brother asked you to be my wife. In return, I offer and pledge my life to you. In return, I offer and pledge my life to you. To the best of my ability, I shall try to be sensitive to your needs. All that I have of love and trust, 
forgiveness and friendship. Forgiveness and friendship. I shall share with you. I shall share with you. I am not perfect. I am not perfect. <laughs> but honey, I think you are. <laughs> Understand that you do. Understand that you do. My imperfection. My imperfection. As I promise to share with you. As I promise to share with you. All that I am. All that I am. This day I shall marry my best friend. This day I shall marry my best friend. The one I laugh with. The one I laugh with. Live for. Live for. And shall love forever. And shall love forever. Our reading this evening is done for us by an unbeloved by Carlos Antunes. And he will read for us El Dia oh, <coughs> No. I think. Oh, Voy a hablar en español. Primeramente, muchas gracias por estar aquí todos. Muchas gracias. El día de su boda, son dichosos por compartir la felicidad de un compromiso tan cerrado y por haber creado una hermosa relación. Pasada en amistad, en el día de su boda, el regalo más precioso que se puede entregar es el amor incondicional. Cuiden de ese amor, ya que es un gran tesoro que ayuda a crecer y a florecer. Con la misma dedicación con la cual creado el amor. Lo que ustedes tienen en sus manos algo único y hermoso. A través del tiempo, sean sinceros y felices. Y escuchen con el corazón. Prestando atención a lo que hace su pareja. Expresa. Solo así podrán comprender el pensamiento y deseos más íntimo de cada cual. Compartan el triunfo como la derrota. Esto lo como yo. Y se le junto a la victoria. Digan, te amo, Nandú, para que el cariño y la amistad que ha crecido entre ustedes jamás deje de ser. Recuerden que porque es importante mantener el sentido del humor. Eso, eso quita de más, eso es claro. Aún cuando sientan el ojo. Después de todo, ustedes son mejores amigos que pareja. Permanezcan unidos, presentes el uno al otro y di dispuestos a, en a enfrentar la vida juntos. Que la paz le llene sus mentes y sus almas y que cada día de sea un día más bendecido para ustedes. Cuando haya un juego de fútbol de los Dolphins, no vayan, van a perder de todas maneras. Si hay un juego de los Hits, ven, te lo prometo. El primero que se levante por la mañana, lava esa boca, por favor. Hace 27 o 28 años, nacieron dos armas. Fueron ustedes. Fue mi sobrina, que es como si fuera mi hija. Me encontraba un joven tan esplendoroso como tú. Eh, te pido que la cuide y la respete. Y voy que yo lea a él. Que tú la respetes a ella como mismo respetas a esa que está sentada ahí, que es tu madre. Se cuide y se ame para siempre. Muchas felicidades.
Well, God of love, we ask that today we bless the fruit that Juliet allowed to grow our foster exchange. As they reflect upon these dreams, may they be reminded that these dreams are ultra symbols of the inner love and trust they feel for each other. And as they see these dreams as you sing the day of their lives, may they remember that they have promised here today. Juliet, my love, I give you this ring as a constant and evident symbol of my love for you and my trust in you. Lazarus, my love, I give you this ring as a constant and evident symbol of my love for you and my trust in you. Symbolic of your love and trust for and in each other, the two of you both give and receive these things. May their symbolism grow as your relationship as husband and wife deepens and is enriched by your constant love and communication. Lazaro and Juliet, that you have dedicated yourselves to each other. And as you have consent, to live together in holy marriage with the blessing of God who is love and according to the laws of this state. It is both my privilege and my honor to now pronounce you husband and wife. <laughs> Just got married and the little peck on the cheek is no good. 
That's right. <laughs> if it's not a good kiss, I will make you do it again. I'm you get it right. So I'm inviting all of you with me to judge the kiss. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Gonzalez. 